Tim Taylor, Johnny, and I had the opportunity to drive to Las Vegas. So the Rockwell Triptacular includes Sevens Rugby, UFC, and NASCAR. It's gonna be a crazy weekend. In just a few days. It was kind of a crazy idea. Las Vegas today, UFC, maybe rugby, NASCAR, everything else. I have no idea. It's gonna be awesome. So I'm waiting for the guys to get to my house. One hour passes, two hour passes. I'm getting nervous, I'm ready to go. I'm gonna go get Johnny. What's up? So uh, just getting loaded up. We're gonna head to Las Vegas. We got a busy weekend. So yeah, we're excited. Production line. Good morning. No. That wasn't a good idea. Yeah, it was. But well, you got more than three. Today with Tetris skills. Should we just do eight? UFC weigh-ins. We've got uh, NASCAR on Sunday. It's gonna be a crazy time. So yeah. We go outside. I start talking to Taylor about what we're doing for the weekend and Kent is jump roping behind me for God knows what reason, and he whips me right in the face with the jump rope. UFC weigh-ins, we've got uh, NASCAR on Sunday, it's gonna be a crazy time, so yeah. <laughs> Might be right in the lip. What I didn't realize is my jump rope wasn't connected correctly, so as soon as I started jumping, whoosh, comes apart, whips Johnny straight in the face. Sorry, Johnny. <laughs> Did you the face? Oh, yeah. We got pretty boy Kent back here. It's freaking amateur hour. But what jump roping in a driveway? He's like, what the what the hell was that? <laughs> I was like, I stung by a bee or something. I don't know what the hell is going on. But I was just thought he was whipping me. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, Sorry. Glad you were oh, it's too good, dude. Well, right now we're in Beaver, Utah. We are probably 200 plus miles outside of St. George. From St. George to Mesquite, Mesquite, Las Vegas. So, gassing up, gonna grab some snacks. Back on the road. So uh, here we are, we're pulling into Las Vegas right now. We're gonna head over to uh, Extreme Couture Mixed Martial Arts Training Facility. We're gonna meet up with Eric, who is the gym manager. We're gonna check out pro practice. So all of the best, uh, some of the best UFC fighters and mixed martial artists in the country are there training right now, getting ready for their fight. So Extreme Couture, see that? Right there, mixed martial arts. Johnny's gonna go wrestle people to the ground. As we roll into Vegas, the first place we're going to hit is Extreme Couture. Uh, and if you're a fight fan, you know that's where all the big names, they train. He brought his gloves, he brought his jump rope too. He just worked me in the face with it. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Big <laughs> deal. That's a big bag he brought. Do a quick rep. I don't know what his plan is, but this thing took up the entire bed of my truck. Anytime I travel or go someplace, I take more things than I need, because you just never know. We're shifting that thing around and rocking it around. It's a real pain in the ass. I damn near had to leave my bag at home. So uh, as a former professional fighter, to get a chance to go to Randy Couture's gym and meet with Eric Nixick, the manager, and then meet with some of the fighters, seriously, a dream come true. So once we walked into the gym, my eyes got like silver dollars. I just, I saw people that I'd seen on TV, uh, MMA guys that I'd always idolized, and I could just smell fighting and hear punching. Uh, Eric Nixon, Extreme Couture, and I'm the gym manager here, one of the coaches at Extreme Couture MMA. We got guys like Uriah Hall, Brad Tavares, you know, Roy Nelson, Gray Maynard, 
the list goes on. You got Kevin Lee, you know, so it's been a, it's been a talent filled room, but moreover, it's been guys that are willing to help each other and the camaraderie is very deep here at Shrink Couture. As far as a mixed martial arts UFC fan, no better gym to train than here, man. It's pretty legit, so checking it out. You got Uriah Hall right there. Some of the best guys in the world not only have trained there, but currently train there. So walking in, it was like, man, this gym is legit. We were able to sit down with Eric as he opened his care package and he seemed super pumped. It's in the box. Perfect, love it. Orange mango. Uh, they had things like hats and sunglasses and watches, t-shirts. Dude, digging the hat. Love it, bro. Beautiful. Love the product, love the clothing line, love everything they represent, the functionality of the watch, love everything they have to offer. It's just been a, a great relationship between Rockwell and Shrink Couture and I can't wait for to move forward with the product. We're excited to work with him, we're excited to work with that group. Having you guys in the gym has been awesome and I hope to work more with you guys in the future for sure. Get a chance to see guys like that in their train and hang out with them. Woo! Dream come true. So we just got to the uh, Cosmo. We're at the in the Jockey Club, but uh, we got a suite. We're gonna go up, chill out. We got a busy day tomorrow, so we're gonna take it easy tonight. Yeah, right. Do that. So as always, when we go to Vegas, and as always, when Johnny and Taylor are together. It always makes for a party. Uh, we made our way over after dinner to a place called Carnival Court. You haven't seen dancing until you've seen Taylor and Johnny on the dance floor. Where would I be without my road dog, my partner in crime, Mr. Taylor Chapman? You wanna see moves on the dance floor? Watch this guy get next. Taylor likes to pretend that all he wants to do is hide behind the camera and film. He's where the ball is at. PH. How are you feeling that? Hottest film. PH right here. Let's flip like backwards. Yo. But he's actually better in front of the camera than behind the camera. Hey dude, we're done? That's a wrap, guys. Uh, Kent being our president probably doesn't want me to tell you this, but uh, he even got in on a little boogie fever. So morning came too quick, we woke up and immediately had to go to NASCAR. And we head over to the Las Vegas Motor Speedway for NASCAR. So we're here at uh, NASCAR, we're at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. So if you've never been to Las Vegas Motor Speedway, the place is enormous. And if you don't have a golf cart to get you around, boy, you're gonna get a workout. Going off a jump. Oh, whoa, oh. We're gonna get a chance to meet up with Ty Dillon and uh, I couldn't be more excited. Just about to go meet Ty Dillon and the whole crew. These cars go really, really fast. I'm kind of intimidated right now. But I'm not gonna let anybody know. As we're walking around, we run into Ty. Ty is gracious enough to take us kind of on a behind the scenes of what it takes uh, to get ready for NASCAR. So we go, we see his semi, he takes us in there, we're looking at all the different cars, looking at all the functionality. Hey Ty, what's your favorite watch? Uh, the Apollo. 
Uh, Ty, what kind of uh, deal should we give the people on the Apollo? Oh, I got one. 35% right now. So as Ty's showing us around, he pulls out his racing suit. And gloves. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. Pulls out his gloves. And on the glove, stitched, is a nice Rockwell watch, which uh, I thought was the best part of the whole thing. Well, we got we got a birthday present for you, dude. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Right? That's so sick, dude. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Frosted case with his logo on it, his Ty Dillon logo. Chocolate. So this is new style. Oh, dude. With Rockwell on the on the uh, window there, and it was a place where he could put six of his awesome watches. That's Thanks for being awesome. a part of the family, yeah. bro. For sure. We dude. figured we'd take care of the wife. Yep. Right? And uh, so love it. this is the chapel. We have this custom box made, fits all of his stuff, and uh, I kind of think you liked it. While we were at Extreme Couture, we were able to hook up with some new UFC athletes. We were able to, to uh, invite those athletes to NASCAR with us. It was Corey Anderson, who I've, I've followed for quite some time, and a newer athlete, Carl Robertson. Neither of them had had that experience before, so it was really rewarding for us to sit and, and kind of explain what was going on and, and kind of see their faces light up as they saw these guys going 200 miles an hour around the track. So we just left the uh, Las Vegas Motor Speedway. We're now heading to the Monte Carlo for the UFC weigh-ins. Here we are, UFC weigh-ins. Just waiting for our uh, Ryan Caraway to make his way out, then we'll just side more, so be an awesome time. So as pumped as I was to be at NASCAR, I was really looking forward to the UFC weigh-ins where we get to see our boy Brian Caraway uh, face off against his opponent and also the main event, Chris Cyborg Santos facing off against her opponent. So super excited to get to weigh-ins. Brian walked to the stage and he looked awesome. It's crazy when you know somebody that's fighting how you get pumped up. So this wasn't even a fight, this was just the weigh-ins, but we were all kind of bouncing and jumping up and down. Just uh, you know, yelling his name and so excited for him to, to get this chance to square off. Cyborg looked especially cool. Her hair was done all funky and, and it had like red paint in it. Her whole face was painted, I think, with like the Brazilian flag. She looked super intimidating and I felt bad for the girl that she was about to uh, throw fists at. So here we are, Caesar's Palace. We're gonna meet up with uh, Tito and the team, give him his watches, and uh, chit-chat about Cyborg's fight tomorrow. Everybody that knows me knows that I'm a huge fanboy of the UFC. And uh, we started to make our way to the hotel, and it kind of registered in my mind, like, I'm gonna meet Tito Ortiz. So for those that know me, I am a huge Tito Ortiz fan. I mean, Huntington Beach bad boy, Mr. Punishment himself. Now we get to leave the weigh-ins and go meet with Tito Ortiz and uh, give him a little present most recognizable champions in, in, in the UFC. And with every step I took closer to the hotel, my heart raced. I went, ba-dum, ba 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 Oh my god, that's rad. Here's the thing we might need. I don't have a box where I just throw them in. I'm so lazy time I just take them out. That's why you see how the gold one's so thrash, man. To see Tito so excited about that box warmed my heart. We, we gave him his custom watches. We gave him his new box. He was ecstatic. He starts taking uh, an Instagram story of it. It's kind of been history ever since. So Tito's been a fantastic friend of the brand, an amazing ambassador. You'll never see him not wearing a Rockwell watch. Gift I got from Rockwell, my own case for 50 millimeter watches. Sick. Thanks boys at Rockwell. Shout. Once again, one more reason why I love the Huntington Beach bad boy. So our boy and Utah legend, Tavita Afangawe, hooked us up with some VIP tickets to Rugby Sevens. Sevens Rugby, we're here right now at Sandboy Stadium. We're gonna meet up with our good friend Tavita and uh, film a little rugby action. Should be awesome. Best rugby teams in the world converge on Samboyd Stadium. We got to go inside, meet some of the people, and uh, check out some of the matches. So we arrived at the rugby venue, and the trip from the car to the venue was a crash course in what Rugby Sevens was all about. Okay, you're gonna come in and do the same thing. But I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna grab you like this, right? 
these guys are rugby virgins. They've never even seen a game. So I had to uh, explain a couple rules to them. He's grabbing us. He's trying to do a little scrum there in the parking lot on the gravel road. It was, it was hilarious. It was a good time. You dance. Sit back a little bit. Now, you a lot of muscle. Your goal is to hold me up so that when we scrum, I can catch, I can get the ball. Quickly, Johnny was grabbing us, twisting us up, throwing us, teaching us how to play rugby. And Johnny's a pretty tough dude, so it didn't feel too great. Yeah, these guys aren't going to be making any team or uh, anything, so... One, two, oh, and then you go in like this, right? Your hands here. We got there just in time to see Team USA kick some ass. It was awesome, the United States won the tournament, and even though me and Tim really didn't understand fully what was going on, the game was so fast and so powerful, it made us instant fans. So Saturday, it's fight day, and we're super excited. So we're at the UFC, we finally made it. We get a chance to see all these athletes compete, and of course, our boy Brian Caraway is the second fight of the night. Fighting in the bantamweight division, ranked seventh in the world. Dude, Brian did what Brian does, man. Uses takedowns, gets on top, controls the fight, and uh, did a very good job in this match. As fun as the fights were, it was even better to be with the uh, Rockwell crew. You know, we had a lot of our guys there in town. That's how we do cyborg. So we all got to come up to the fights and hang out together and. Nothing says bonding like watching people beat the crap out of each other. We were able to see Cyborg fight. She won. It was great to be there with the crew. We were able to meet with Brian down on the concourse just after the fights. He was dressed in a beautifully tailored suit and he looked nice and sharp. No marks on his face. Brian Caraway, our guy, our guy. Classic Brian Caraway style. Black eye, beat up, rocking his nice gray suit, looking smooth.